Let me start recording here and see if this works. I haven't dropped a single frame yet, which is kind of amazing. What's going on, everybody? Welcome Thank to uh, first video in a long time, let's let's say. I actually have three, <laughs> three videos saved from the Vintage Cube from the last time I did it. Uh, I recorded all three of the streams and I just never uploaded them. So maybe I'll toss those on as uh, some bonus bonus YouTubes later. Uh, we got we got old uh, Micklethid in the corner over here replacing Fibblethip. Uh, just just a little change, you know. I like to keep it fresh. And um, yeah, basically uh, the project I was working on at at Scopely for the past Thank two you. years was put on hold, and our entire team got laid off in late November. So that was fun. So uh, I figured I'd get back on the horse and uh, see what streaming can do. You know, I'm obviously looking for another game game design position. Um, I've been putting out a bunch of applications and I have a bunch of link uh, leads and stuff. But that's kind of the update, right? Um, so I'm just kind of jumping back into this in the meantime to, you know, just kind of see, uh, you know, I don't know. It is what it is, you know. It's the game. It's the game industry. It's the IT industry. It's the, it's, you know, like uh, there was millions, mi not millions, but thousands of layoffs this holiday season from multiple companies, and it kind of sucks for everybody. But you know, what can you do? Except draft the vintage cube Thank and you. stream on Twitch.tv. Justin, Justin TV. I got a new webcam. It's Thank the Insta 360 link. It's pretty incredible. I'm, I'm not using a green screen. I'm currently using, um, just the Nvidia background removal tool. So that's uh, if it's, it's if it's a little wonky, that's why. But I think the 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 cons are far outweighed by the pros, which is like not having to hang a green screen from your ceiling and have a curtain in your room and like pulling it across and making sure like the, the floor isn't visible and like it's all kinds of hassle, like finding the correct angles and stuff. Thank you. <laughs> There's a market for your face in front of the camera. I'd like to see more of it. Please do it more. You know, I'll see what I can do. Thank you. But good God, this is way too small. Let's make these cards ginormous. Let's also consider taking a Mox Pearl. You guys, uh, you guys are, you guys like a Mox Pearl? You guys ever done a little Mox Pearling? I also like having my sideboard up, so I'm gonna open side portals. And can I make this? Can I make the sideboard bigger, smaller? Can I make it smaller, bigger? God, it's been so long since I've played. Magic the Gathering Online. All right, we're gonna take this Mox. Oh, I like this. I like this old border sword of feast and famine. That makes that makes Papa happy. Shout out to my grandma. That's the only way she can hear. <laughs> uh, oh, what up, Nicholas? Oh, we got proving grounds. I like that. Got an arcane proxy. I don't necessarily care about that. Um. God, Vintage Cube, huh? Vintage Cube. Tell me, Vintage Cube. Tell me your secrets. Is this a breeding pool? Good lord, I actually don't know. This is the first time I've drafted this iteration of the Vintage Cube, and it's like the first time I've played Magic in quite a while, to be honest. Although I tweak Magic decks, God, all the time. I'm gonna take the Signet. Huh? Oh. Oh, an Azorius signet as well. We also have Golos. Look at this Mizium Mortars of the old frame. Wild. Just wild. Ulamog is a thing if we uh, get any crazy. I'm not an Underworld Breach guy, and you know that, but you're not going to stop saying Underworld Breach. That's just who you are, and I accept you. Accept and love, my friend. Zarya Signet? Golos? Should we do Golos for the for the Super Fritz that can't be here? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, what up, not the plague? Oh my god, you guys are amazing. 
Dude, I, I love that like I don't stream forever and then I just come back and I stream and you guys are still so supportive and like it's kind of cool, man. I really appreciate all of you. I think it's Golos. Hmm. Got a courser of crew fix. Oh, we do have the rat train here. But uh I don't know if I'm feeling rat train. Oh no, my Oh no, my memes aren't set up. I have to set them all up again. I reformatted my computer, so all of the files are probably uh, not in the same place. So now I have to redirect them. I mean, we did pass a Splinter Twin, and here's a Pestermite. I kind of just feel like Courser of Crew Fix, though. I'm going to take the Courser. Oh, Steel Seraph is kind of interesting. It's a 3-3 flyer for 3 with Bane of Combat. Target creature control gains Vigilance or Lifelink. I mean, they also gain Flying, but I'm assuming if I use it on itself. Thank it's a 3-3 Flying Lifelink or 3-3 Flying Vigilance for 3. That could also be a 5-4 for 6. I mean, then I'm like, oh, Minsk and Boo, though. I do like a Minsk and Boo. What was the clip? Was there a clip? Oh my god. Oh, is this just the rat train clip? Of course. Of course. Alright, I'm gonna take the Minskin Boo, because that card is just super cool. And I actually haven't I have never cast a Minskin Boo before. Although I own about seven of them. Isn't that wild? I own four for constructed. I own one for I think the Live the Dream Cube and one for the Vintage Cube. So six, I guess. Overgrown Tomb. Woodfall Primus, also a fine gentleman. Send my facts and my jokes. <laughs> I think I'm just going to take Overgrown Tomb uh, I, for the Goloses. And we kind of want um, a little bit of red here. Oracle of Moldaya, you're pretty good. Retrofitter Foundry, I assume there's an Urza Saga in the cube. That's one of the best reasons to have that card. You like how I put the Oracle? I, I put it in the four spot. I guess that's actually correct. I was going to be like, you like how I put this in the same spot as the Mizgah? But then they're both fours, so it actually it worked out. What do you do? Choose up to a creature, put a 1-1 one, one counter and a counter from among flying, first strike, and lifelink or vigilance on. That's pretty good. Look at the top seven cards you'll learn. You put a permanent card with mana cost three or less from among them onto the battlefield. Shield counter. It's actually pretty good. I'll take it. <laughs> I can't resist a nice uh, a nice planeswalker. Come on. It's a nice new planeswalker. We got a Mox Pearl to help cast it. I guess we take the Black Cleave Cliffs. I don't love it. We might just be four color no blues. And the Breeding Pool comes. Oh, actually... Proving Ground might be better. It gives us the red from Minsk and Boo. It gives us green. Yeah, let's take the Proving Ground. All right, let's actually sort these by mana value. Do I want this Kogla? Yeah, I do. Oh, God. It almost it almost skipped and got me something I didn't want there. I guess it's just, just Kitchen Finks. Four color, no blues. Mono Brown coming soon. I'm glad you survived Montana. Yeah, me too. Katie and I went to visit her parents and brother and sister, a uh, brother and sister-in-law in Montana. Uh, we just got back Monday. Uh, supposed to get back Sunday, but our flight was delayed. So that was fun. Oh, what up? Ew, you're skinny. I'm going to take this walking ballista. Badger, appreciate you, uh, Weeding out the spam there, buddy. Uh, let's take Ephemerate. We have Kogla and Golos. Oh, 
Okay, what do we got here? What do we got here? Nurturing Peatland. I think it's just going to be Taiga here. That seems really good. I do like an Elder Gargaroth and an Elspeth. This is a Christmas miracle. How did you manage to live in Florida? I was there for two weeks and good Lord. Yeah, the, the heat in, in Florida is a little stifling. Not, no, no joke. It can be a bit much. I like a blood crypt. What does polluted Delta get us right now? Overgrown and proving ground. That's actually pretty good. Improving ground is basically just a blood crypt, right? So, uh, I think we'll take. We can also take Grist, but I think we're just taking Polluted Delta. I did see that. Yeah, I did see that Florida was like in high twenties, low thirties. That's pretty wild, man. Ooh, a Savai Triome. That's also pretty good. There's also a Gristle brand. Look at this weird history of Benalia. I wonder if that's because no one Bradley you. did that. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. Badger with the gifted sub. I think we're just taking the Triome. Do we just Thank want, you. we kind of want to take things though, right? At some point, we kind of want to take cards to play. I'm getting a little overwhelmed. There's a lot to read, a lot to catch up on. God, it's really hard coming back to streaming when, like, you haven't done it for a while because then you want to, like, chat with everyone, tell them what's going on, see how they're doing. I guess we do need a blue for this guy, right? I don't think we're... Get out of here, Life from the Loom. I don't think we're a recurring Nightmare deck. I don't think we're a Gix deck. We might, we might be a Vraska deck. We could also just keep making booze. Let's take Vraska. They're going to give me a Belfal Strix when they know I'm not blue. That's rude. Let's take Coalition Relic. That's a gem of a card. Bayou is very nice. I love a good Bayou. Our land is also pretty good right now. As usual, I need a haircut. I went to schedule one and they're like, the earliest opening we have is January 20th. <laughs> I was like, oh. Well. That's a shame. I think we need more white lands, actually. We only have Savai Triome, which we can get with Polluted Delta. And we have this double white card. Hmm. Shave your head. Badger, as much as you have supported and donated in the past, it might be a bridge too far. <laughs> God, I just want to take the Badlands. Do I want to have all three lands in this color? Or do I want the bird? Maybe the bird. I think we're going to take this bird. Give me that bird. I love Timeless Lotus. And I've actually incorporated it into my cube with a um, like a five color theme. I got a bunch of different five color cards that are cool. So I'm going to take it. Because it can also just, you can just tap it to activate Golos, which is pretty cool. As you guys seem to have noticed. There's an Elder Gargroth. There's a Croxa. Got a little heavy on the five drops here, but that's okay. What can you do? Our mana base looks good. <laughs> I'm just glad there's another pack. I have no idea. This deck looks... Eh, this might be a walking blister deck with all the mana we have. Good old gargles.
Um, sacrifice creatures or creature plans on her. I think it's just one drop. Um, I'm gonna take up non token artifacts. So, this is only gonna really benefit us with like walking ballista, right? Because. Yeah, I'm just going to take Karn here. Hey, sneak attack came back? That's fascinating. I'm fascinated. <laughs> that seems extremely odd. I'll take that guy. I'll take a Gaia's Cradle. What on earth? This is very weird. You're going to go in the two spot. You're going to go over here. I don't know why. I, I honestly don't know why this card is in here. <laughs> it seems so situational. Spara is Bant. Okay. Thank you. Oh, look at Moochel B. Moochel B is at work right now in the room right across from me. He's, he's just over there doing his little job. Oh, man. Could this be a Eureka deck? God, you guys know I love a Eureka deck. Nothing else seems exciting to me. Grave Titan might even come back. No deck as a Eureka deck, buddy. I've played some pretty pretty bomb Eureka decks. When you build the deck around Thank Eureka, you. you get some Eureka decks. Chazbot, thank you for the gifted thank subs, you. buddy. Oh my god, you guys are amazing. Thank you so thank much, you. dude. Really appreciate you. I do like a Kolagon's Command. I like a Misty Rainforest as well. Thank you! So I think it's between Kolagon's Command and Misty Rain. How many lands is this? Eight, so we have Thank 19 you. cards. 18 cards after Mox Pearl. That's actually not too bad. I think I could take the land. The land gets everything, right? It gets Proving Ground, Taiga, and Overgrown. So it gets all of our colors. I don't have any effects like... Actually, I do. I do have a bunch of effects like Kolagon's Command. Oh, and Dotha Triome. That's a good one. And we can get it with both of our... Also, Sylvan Library, though. I feel like it's got to be Sylvan Library. The selection is just too good. There were a couple cards in there I would have... Would have been okay with taking. Titania, Voice of Gaia. Three, four. And for one or more lands, you put in the graveyard from anywhere you gain two life. Okay. So three, four for three with reach. Not terrible. So I have to have four or more lands in my graveyard and I have to have Argoth. That's a lot of things to happen. Might just be Solitude. I'll take a Solitude. Oh, what up, Monsonster? Why are the cards so dark? I was wondering that myself. I was wondering if that was just me. Interesting. Fascinating. Um, I'll take Emrakul here because we have... Actually, we didn't take Grist, so we have Sneak Attack. Oh, we also have um, Eureka. <laughs> uh, this deck looks kind of interesting now. We, have, we could take Nahiri. I wonder why the cards are so dark. This is interesting. Okay. See, we already have some some bugs to work out. I'll take a Vindicate. There was a Deceiver Exarch, so we could have Splinter Twin, Deceiver Exarch, and Pestermite so far. Let's go Properties here. It's weird because it's just the it's just the magic online screen, right?
Shut up and take my money. Oral, what's going on, buddy? Okay, give me one second and I'll read that. Uh, draft things to celebrate. Oh, dang it, it was gone. And then it was gone. God, I do love a gold span dragon. Natural order is interesting, but we actually have like two creatures before turn four. <laughs> so that's not ideal. Uh, I might just be Doretti. We have a lot of artifacts that we could just throw away too. Uh, Godless Shrine seems okay. We can't get it. We can get it with Polluted Delta, actually. That's pretty good. We don't actually have any black-white lands. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> I think I might have an idea of what the reason is. And I'll see if I can fix it real quick. Let's take it. I'll take an Oblivion Ring, sure. I like Coma. Um... I don't think we're ever going to cast it. I think I just take the Oblivion Ring. Oh, Colgan's Command came back? Sure. Sun Titan doesn't get enough, I don't think. This is a lot of... Oh, Beard Treves. Thank you so much for saying so, man. What a cool... What a, what a great message, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. I'm going to, I'll pause the, oh, Orzov Signet. Wow, that's pretty good. So this is actually only 20, 24 cards. Oh, wow. Uh, Eternal Witness. What does Green Sun get us? Oracle, Corsair, one of these guys, Gargaroth. Actually, Green Sun could be pretty good here. Eh, we'll take the Eternal Witness. I'm just a sucker for an Eternal Witness. We'll take a Nahiri. These are some nice late pickups. Got an Emrakul in the sideboard too for for things. Okay, guys. I think I fixed it. We had HDR on and now I took it off. Oh god, this monitor looks so much brighter now. Holy smokes. I think H every look, all my experiences with HDR is that HDR is a menace. I'm never satisfied with the results, but I always I'm like convinced. That like it's supposed to look much, much better. I'm like, it's high definition, right? Of course it's going to be better. But then it never is. Did I just move? Is my camera tracking me? Oh my god, it is. Oh no. Oh no, the tracking is on. Hold on, I have to turn that off now too. Okay, hold on. Also, the camera tracks. HDR has to be blocked by two creatures. <laughs> See, that's funny. Enable auto tracking. No, don't do that. Not now, anyway. Okay, anyway, let's let's build this deck. How's that sound? So if I take all these beauties out, we have 25 cards. So, hmm. we got a Eureka. We also have sneak attack and Emrakul in case those are in case those are right up our alley. Did <laughs> my stiff get processed just like old times? Yeah, it's uh it's with the accountant right now. We're 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 trying to process it right now. Let me actually read that real quick. So, count, that's where it is, right? History, yeah. Okay, draft things to celebrate your return. ETB effects, Sultai, or Flicker, or whatever. Welcome back. Okay, you guys are freaking amazing. Love you guys. That's amazing. Okay. Do whatever you want. All right, we'll, we'll try some ETB and Flicker things. Oral, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate you. Okay. We're going to Golos. Everything here looks okay. Nahiri seems good with this guy. But how many ways do we have to actually play that guy outside of Nahiri? We can take out Kitchen Finks. 
Take out walking ballista. You don't go well with much. I, the thing I like about Eureka that doesn't apply to like show and tell and stuff is that it puts in permanence in general. So you can throw your lands into play. You can throw your planeswalkers into play, which is funny because Eureka is a card from a time where planeswalkers didn't exist. Are you still tracking me? Stop tracking me. God, it's like the government over here. Look at this. If I close it now, will the settings be saved? Who knows? We'll see. Okay. Hopefully. What if I move like this? No? Okay. As I said, guys, there's some growing pains going on here. I'm texting at the in-laws in their basement trying to hide the stream. By the <laughs> Are you in the bathroom? What's all that noise? Oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. Also, Coalition Relic, Timeless Lotus, both really good with Golos. This deck seems really cool. We have Corsair and Oracle of Moldiah for cool things. The auto track is the gift that keeps giving all year. That's true. The auto track and the HDR. Those are the two gifts that, that we're getting here. Um, we need one cut. I don't think we're a sneak attack deck because this is all we really have to sneak in. I guess we can see like a Furnow Titan or Kogla, but I don't know if that's super exciting. Um, we are, however, Eureka-ing. What about the Jelly of the Month Club? Well, the shitter's full, so it's hard to say. Um... Thank you. Also, once I turned off HDR, my monitor got significantly brighter, so that's kind of cool, too. Uh, speaking of nits. Maybe I just play... Sneaking in Inferno will probably make the opponent concede. Maybe. It's only like 12 damage. Because these are also kind of lands. These are lands. I think we can do... I think we can do the... Okay, sort by color. Not, I, okay, we're heavy green. Okay, so we got one. Oh, we're not a guy's cradle deck. Get out of here. Stop trying to sneak in here. It's like a sneak attack with a guy's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, four, five, three, four, five, six. And that'd be 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 lands plus a mox plus two signets. Ah, uh, this might actually be correct. How many white sources do we have? One. Misty Reinforce cannot get a white, correct? Mm, it can get a draw. No, it can't. So we have white sources. We have one, two, three, four, five, six white sources. That seems okay. Oral, thank you so much for the, for the support, buddy. Really appreciate it. This will definitely be uploaded, and future videos will also be uploaded. I'm going to... I think I'm just going to go like this. I'm just going to trust the Magic Online gods. Save the deck. Please note, League matches now start upon pairing. What does that mean? There's no confirmation to join. Oh, so like once it's paired, I don't have to be like, okay. That's, that's good. Because sometimes it'll sit there, and I'll just have to hit okay. Glad it told me that. That's nice of them. How nice. But then we have to wait. Then we wait. Got that shark tooth yet? No. Oh my God. No. But I tell you what, I regularly look. It is literally, it's a thing I want to get the one I like, not just one that's available. So I regularly check. And I have it right here bookmarked. 
Well, I'll link it to you guys in the chat too. Bam. All right. Well, that's way too small. I don't need you. I would like to play first. That sounds like a really cool. Well, wow. Did you hear that? What? what? These noises are not ideal. I'll keep this. My dad, your dad had a, a Megalodon tooth. That's pretty wild. Yeah, Megalodons are like probably one of my favorite prehistoric creatures. And uh, the goal is to get a, a Megalodon tooth. And Badger definitely helped donate to that a, a long time ago. But I just, I haven't found one I really like love yet. As you could imagine, they're pretty limited. There's not a... Mm, nothing here yet. But next turn. Can we get our chat out as well? Okay, there we go. So next time we can play Minsk and Boo, which is kind of cool. That, that guy's, that's a guy. Look at that guy. You guys hate these sound effects or are they okay? They are sounds. Correct. Uh, yeah, for sure. Make that boo. Oh no, they're going to kill it. That's sad. Really? You're going to burst my boo? Cool. Messed up. So now if they play any spell, they get to kill my my Minskin boo. I am indifferent to them. <laughs> I like the sound. I like the, uh, we got a lot of, uh, a lot of opinions here. Okay, that's not a spell, which is good. So I think Minsky, what? They didn't even attack. What? Fascinating. I'm fascinated. That seems good for us. Vindicato. Can't play Elspeth. We don't have a second. We can play Golos. Get a land that then lets us play Elspeth or Kogla next turn. Classic forget to attack. One, two, three, four, five. This feels correct. I mean, we could vindicate this guy, but... Golos really just gets our gets our gets our motor going, you know. Trium lets us play Elspeth. We don't have a blue here, which is my one my one regret in life. Proving ground gets us a lot of colors that we already have. Let's get Trium. No attacks here. <laughs> Why vindicate him? He isn't hurting anyone. All not attacking and whatnot. Yeah, I agree with you. It's like, are they going to untap it with three mana? What's that about? McGimp, I'm so sorry I didn't uh, text you that I was streaming. <laughs> okay, well, now it feels like they're way behind. I'm no expert here. Uh, no, let's not make another Minscarino. <clears throat> Okay, well, that's rude that you just want to show up now. Okay, what do you do? Choose them to turn and put one on counter and a counter from Monk Flying First Strike Life Linker Vigilance on it. Can't cast Kogla here. Can we just draw a bunch of cards? Oh, 
Oh my god, just draw four here? Let's do that. We get to kill a Monastery Mentor and draw four cards. What in the earth? How does that work? <laughs> How in the hell? That's so many things. Let's just play Inferno Titan and just destroy them. We're, we're not playing around mana, mana Tithe. So if we get Mana Tithed, we've earned it. But we didn't get Mana Tithed and we won the game. So, you know. I guess we got that going for us. Congratulations, you won. <laughs> oh, man. It feels good to be Cuban again. I'll tell you what. I could see bringing in Walking Blister here just to kind of, like, shoot some of their idiots. That's nah, hurtful. We actually have a good amount of stuff here that kills their stuff. Colon's Command, Duretti, and Vindicator are all really good. Vraska. Apparently Minsk and Boo is a hell of a card. Badger was pretty good. How about yours, buddy? I love keeping up with your your accomplishments on on the social media. Um, also, if we're playing Eureka against them, I feel like we're in really good shape. Uh, our deck feels like a pretty good Eureka deck. And there's... Uh, Seems like less of a good Eureka deck. Let's take out Kogla. Watch, we're going to draw Eureka and Walking Bliss now. I'll be like, this is exactly what I didn't want. Mm, it's actually pretty good. We'll keep it. We have a black here so we can get uh, the Proving Ground with the Misty Rainforest, which seems pretty good. Quiet, after coming fourth in the world at World Champs, I decided to have some time to myself. Yeah, you know, you really want to just reflect, you know? Just have some time with your thoughts. Dude, congratulations, by the way. That was a really sick showing. Really proud of all the work you put in, man. Get to the chopper. Alright, so Proving Ground is Jund, which gives us the... Red and the black for Kolagon's command. They're probably going to... Oh, wow. So black, red, Mox, Pearly. Yep. And, uh, yep. Thank you. That was pretty good. So we can Kolagon's command. Kill this and kill whatever creature they play, right? That's, that's how that works. We're going to do it in response to them activating, though. Because once it's a creature, they could sack their uh, destroy an artifact. Choose an artifact. Uh, and they could sack Selfless Spirit, but it doesn't counter the spell. It also doesn't give Copter indestructible yet. This is what's known as a twofer. Kids are Kids are calling it these days. I mean, if they have a mana tithe, that's cool. <laughs> Twofer, I hardly know her. Uh, yeah, okay. That's a, it's kind of like a three for now, but I mean, you get a land, I guess. So that's something, but. Now you don't have a path, so that's cool. What can we draw here that's going to be good? Any Planeswalker, probably. Thanks. <laughs> Satisfying. Um, red. Black. That's not black at all. Black. And make a gentleman. I totally forgot I have Nog. So next turn we can go Timeless Lotus... Or Elspeth, which is kind of cool. Also, this this is not the correct construct token. This def this token does not have defender. Let's be clear. Oh, they didn't play anything. But they also didn't sack their sun baked canyon. So fascinating all around. 
I don't think I want you right now. I think I actually just want this. This timeless, beautiful lotus. And then next time we can play Inferno Titan or Karn Liberated. That's cool. Well, Jimmy the Mole, you're here now, so clearly you did know I was streaming. So here we are. So this is Christmas. What have you done? Yeah, okay. Nothing says black and red like Defender. Oh, what up, Zelly? Matt, you know what's funny? Uh, after you sent me those Jordans, because uh, you remember, I think you you got them one size larger than what I what I usually wear. After you did that, I was like, "Oh, this is much better," and I think that just became my regular shoe size. So now all my future shoe purchases are, uh, you know, the correct size. Let's say. Uh, so let's go Carn liberated. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay. Well, that was good. Man, they didn't even want to see what happens. Don't believe me, just watch. I actually don't know if I like this Elspeth in here. Ugh. Should we put a permanent with a mana value 3 or less? Is there something better we can play? Not really. A uh, Solitude might be better. Walking Ballista, maybe? Like, the thing I like about Elspeth is that, like, she's pretty good with Eureka. I mean, I'll just, I'll just keep it. I, I don't know if it's, I don't know if I'm, I'm like, hey, let's, let's cut her immediately after one game. But it was two games. It was an entire match. Yeah, okay. That's a good point. I had not considered that. Sneak Attack doesn't seem great here. Like, we only have, like, one main target... And then, like, two kind of targets. Eh. That Elsbeth is too long, didn't read. I mean, is she my... Eh. A lot of point. Eh, I guess I'm trying to, like, make a point here. This guy's pretty TLDR. He's very good, though. I'm going to keep. Yeah, Nikes do be like that. You know what was even worse than that? Yeezys. Yeezys, I'm like, well, we're on 11, so maybe I'll get them in 12 and a half so they'll fit correctly. Um, the problem is I, I, I actually feel uh, really awkward wearing Yeezys currently, so I, I don't know. Like, I still love them as shoes, but good lord, man. Talk about fucking up a brand. Anything you're looking forward to with the new set coming out in January? Are you referring to Dominaria Remastered? If so, yes. I have a, an entire list of cards that I'm looking forward to. I mean, it's funny because a lot of the stuff I'm looking forward to is literally just like replacements for cards. Like, oh cool, I can replace my... Um, regular like eternal mastered sylvan library with borderless ones you know or like i can oh, oh, oh that's annoying come on green source wow that's really annoying oh boy and that was how we died yes a yikes for me dog oof 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 more like yikes easy. <laughs> That's correct, yes. Oh, God. This has been in my cube for a while as well. This card is great. And I'm really surprised it took this long to get it into the Magic Online cube. Oh, boy. And they got Mother of Runes up. Come on. Is this like two red-white aggressive decks in a row? Because that's kind of wild. What? Okay, we're just going to... Oh, man, did you see those... What are these options? Yield through, stack abilities, no possible play, view dungeon information. Oh, look at those beautiful little dungeons. Oh, that's great. Wait, what else did it say at the bottom? 
I completed zero. I haven't completed any of these. That's kind of cool, though. Um... This feels like another walking ballista match. We'll take out the Elspeth this time. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Well, a lot of black and white mana. So that's something, I guess. So what can we do if we play this? There's no way to do a turn three. I guess we can draw a red and play this on turn two. But, like, there's no way to play this... If we play this first, there's no way to play this on turn two. Yes. Yes. Whereas right now, we still can if we draw a red source. If you complete all your dungeons, you get a chocolate. One whole chocolate? Oh, that's disappointing. Okay, well. If we get another green, Elder Gargaroth seems like a, it's pretty fierce against this red-white aggressive deck so you know as a treat <laughs> you can have a chocolate as a treat uh, okay or do I just want to play Sylvan Library we couldn't hear he she goes to six yeah let's not hear she's got a big a big butt. Let's discard a card. Let's discard Eternal Witness for now. Oh, that was pretty good. Mm, I'll say no. Yeah, look at that. Look, it worked out. Everybody wins. Yeah, I got rid of my Wave Runners a few years ago when he started hanging out with Grifters. <laughs> Solid choice. It looks like that, that, uh, that decision paid off. That did not backfire. It only got worse. God, what a waste, man. See, like, my only solace is that, like, I think Adidas is still going to make them and, like, take over the Yeezy brand. And, like, if that's the case, like, maybe there's this situation where, like, the two can be disconnected from one another. Okay, so they just played that for two. Fascinating. All right, let's gargles. Fingers crossed. They have five cards in hand. What are the odds ones of swords or a path? Or an Oblivion Ring. Who knows? Who knows? Is it tracking me again? Why are you still tracking me? Right, you need to explain yourself right now. This is, this is wild. I've literally turned off your tracking. Auto tracking. Oh, no, that's... Oh, you just won the game. That's cool. Okay, I'm going to turn off these. Maybe that'll do it. What if I move here? What? What? Okay, maybe that did it. Okay. Well, I think Kitchen Finks might be good. Instead of Witness, Witness might be a little too slow here. Do we gain the life? Or just Controller gains the life? Well, that's not great. What you? <laughs> All right. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. Hadn't considered that. <laughs> what have you been up to? That's much better, Rain Loss. Much better. <laughs> I was like, that's not a full message. Yeah. All right. We'll see if this does anything. Oh! Bird of Paradise into Duretti? Yeah, let's do it. Let's live that dream. Or into Kitchen Finks, actually. What is this guy? Bomat Courier? Goblin Guide. Okay.
Interesting. So, you and you. Kitchen Fink seems like a good foil for for a goblin Guido. And then we got Vraska. This hand seems okay. So this is Crimbus. Giving me all these lands. I won't be blocking. Don't kill my bird man. Alright, you didn't. I appreciate that. Okay, we'll play this. And then we'll go... Green... Black. Green. Finkos. Finkos actually blocks Goblin Guide and can still block Porcelain Legionnaire, whereas Doretti's probably just going to get his butt his butt punched in. This game is over if you want it. I think I do. Did it stop tracking me? I think so. Sure, that's fine. Really? Oh, we hit a Mox Pearl? Oh, that's gasoline. They're going to suck this guy out of my graveyard, but that's fine. Do it. Suck it. Suck it out the graveyard. Suck it out the graveyard. Mox Pearl. So we got all the things right now, right? Right. So we can just Golos, and then we actually have Bird of Paradise to... Hmm. Let's say, hypothetically, that I like that. What land are we getting? Uh, we have plenty of white, plenty of green. Where's the... So if I try them... Oh, there it is. I'm like, where, why is it, where is it? Um, this can get Proving Grounds. So I think we're just getting Triome here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So next turn we can actually activate Golos, thanks to the Bird of Paradise. So that's kind of cool. They put a microchip in your MTGO. I blame Elon Musk, another lunatic. Yeah, all right, you got it. A 4-2. Uh, I'm just going to take 4 because I got Golos. Uh, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I can't see the world where it's like worth risking my Golos. Student of Warfare, sure. Pump him up. Give him a level. No, you didn't level him up, huh? Fascinating. I... I'm fascinated. Do we do it now? That's the question. Or do we wait? I think we do it now. If we hit an Emrakul, I want to be able to take my turn, you know? Black, green, red. <laughs> that's, exactly, that's what we said, right? If we hit the Emrakul, we want to take the turn. Thanks. So we hit the Emrakul. It just makes, it just makes sense. See, that's just that's just good gaming right there, you know. Okay, so we're two zero in our first vintage cube. Feels good to be back. <laughs> that was indeed good gaming, buddy. You ain't kidding. All right, I do like that. It just starts after you get paired. That's nice. Oh, second turn coalition relic. Papa's here for it. Have I played Cult of the Lamb? No, I haven't. Also, Jimmy, second COVID. Good grief, man. Oh, another white aggressive deck. This is pretty wild. Let's, let's relic. Uh, yield. How do I yield till the end of the turn? Yield until the next end step. Bingo, bango. That's what we want. 
Oh yeah. And then we're gonna go charge it up. This feels this feels this feels kind of dirty actually. One, two, three, four, five. Um one, two. We can just play Elspeth here. We can go Signet Vraska. I kind of like that. Or Signet Sylvan Library. Uh, let's go Sylvan Signet. And this plays around Mana Tithe, and we can still keep our Coalition Relic up, so. Yeah, you lose that mana. We could have played Elspeth, I guess. I think, if, I think if I'm, like, really reluctant to just even play Elspeth, it's not great. I don't think, as a card, she's bad. I just think in here, she's not great. In our deck, rather. Sure, you got it. That's fairly unexciting. Yield until the next end step. Let's see what we got. Vindicate. Well, we definitely want the mountain. Hmm. Permanent with mana value three or less. With a shield counter on it. I kind of like that. Oh, sorry. Hit my desk. Let's put you on top. And I'll just keep you, because, come on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get a white out of you. Hmm. Oh my god, Affinity with the Clips! Oh wow, that's amazing. That's incredible. Uh, okay, so I can either make this bird a little larger and protect Elspeth. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Hmm. Vigilance, Flying, First Strike, or Lifelink. Probably first strike because it forces them to give protection to the spirit. Yeah, that seems good. Man, this one bird is doing the Lord's work. It is no longer doing the Lord's work. That is unfortunate. But not terrible. I can't imagine they're ever attacking with Mother of Runes. Let's yield until the next end step again. Oh yeah, that's definitely probably going to survive because of Mother of Runes. Put a charge counter on the Coalition Relic. Hmm. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six mana. I think we try to vindicate the mother. Oh, God, they have double protection. This is pretty rough. It's three or less, right? Yeah. Um, put on top. a little tricky. I feel like this is where the, the wheels are falling off, unfortunately. Uh, let's get a white, I suppose. Hmm. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. So, they're gonna they're gonna save it. Yep, that seems fine. This is so bad. Good grief. Destroy a creature or an artifact. Get rid of you. Okay, cool. Uh, one, two. Three. This feels bad. <laughs> I'm not loving it. Let's get back. Vindicate. Popeyes is incredible. Do you guys not have Popeyes in, in Australia? We have dropped zero frames. I don't know if, if Twitch has improved, if my internet connection has improved. I don't know what to even attribute that to. Okie dokie. Gain's indestructible. Nahiri can actually kill this. That's actually pretty good. So we just have to survive long enough to make Nahiri valuable. Dismember to remember at this year's Toy of the Month. Uh, this is a Honda Day stream. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, you're going face. You're going Elspeth. You're both going Elspeth. And you're going Doretti. Okay. Well, this is a. These are good attacks. I'm going to block here. And they're going to kill both my planies. We do get to hit lands still, thanks to... Uh, Alder Gargaroth. Put on top. Put on top. Play. That doesn't do anything. Come on. Unfortunately, we cannot net the mana from. We can't uh, really benefit very much from this. Exile you. I hope they sack the selfless spirit. Ah, oh, they didn't. Dang it. So close. E Honda Day. <laughs> Oh, that's a that's a classic Street Fighter meme. Yeah, that's pretty good. Four, what is this? Three, four, five. So wait, did they do this twice or once? Any other times? Was so I got one counter, so they get one. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, we're we're it's, it's a rough life we're living here. Let's be honest. Yes, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We go to one <laughs> if we kill the Jitte. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We go to one if we kill the Intrepid as well. We have five mana. Put you on top. Put you on top. Let's uh, let that resolve first. I don't know what kind of shenanigans Magic Online might be up to. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So if we try to kill the adversary, they could save it. Yeah, that's fine. With selfless spirit, leaving them with four, five, six, seven, eight. If we try to kill the Jitte, they just lose the Jitte. Ugh. I'm going to try to kill this, because if they sack the spirit, Elder Gargroth gets a lot better. Huh, that's pretty good. Four, five, six. Plus now they can only deal eight, so. Okay. Just kidding. Okay. Well, that 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 did it. Yeah, all right. Bring in Finks, bring in Ballista, take out Resplendent. Take out... I think it was Kogla. I think, I think Oblivion Ring might just be better than Vindicate here. I didn't see anything that can get rid of in Oblivion Ring, plus it gets around Selfless Spirit, which is nice. Kind of just want to live the Eureka Dream one time. Is that, is that too much to ask for? Any day now. Um, I could see bringing Solitude in and Lotus out. Lotus, the thing is, Solitude seems a little slow. And we don't have enough white cards to really cast it for its alternate cast. So it's just going to be a five drop. It might be good, don't get me wrong, but... This is a slow hand, which is not what you want, despite what the song says. Let's get Proving Ground always. Uh, and then we can play Signet. Oh, Jesus. Hero Bladehold, turn one. Elspeth, turn one. You kill Planeswalkers, right? No, you kill Artifacts. <laughs> well, that's similar. Yes. Boy, this is White Soldier. Oh boy. Do you get Jitte or something else? Jitte. You get the Jeet. The Umazawa's Jeet, as the kids would say back in the day. Uh, so Doretti just dies because we don't have. Yeah. Okay, I guess we're just going to go Signet Svi. Okay, okay. They are certainly doing some stuff. That is... That is an assessment right there, my friend. Okay. Well, you know, Wrath of God... Damnation would be good here, maybe something like that. Well, tapped artifact, tapped creature. None of these are, none of those are really going to fit the bill. Braska can kill things with cost three or less. Elspeth is a four. 
Do we literally just like... Do we just eternal witness to get the land? Yeah, well, we're living our best life here, guys. No trophy, it seems, but, you know, 2-1 for our first draft with a kind of a, a Eureka Mimi deck. That seems okay. Not the worst. I'm satisfied with it. Although it is weird that we played against, like, three white aggro decks. Like... All block... And I have to and I have to take a point from from this misty rainforest too. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh man, they are so well protected. Uh, I guess an overgrown tomb. What's it gonna be? Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. All right. Well, that is the end. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'd like you guys to slam those buttons, the like, subscribe. Whatever you want to do. I'll see you next time. It's good to be back.